All right, just got inside the bins. First thing I do when I come in is go through the existing parts that are left over from last night. And it's amazing some of the things you find that were either dismissed, ignored, or thrown back, and have been sitting since yesterday. So let me do that before they start changing out the parts. Here's a good 511 tactical briefcase computer bag. Does have an embroidery. Tampa Bay FBI National Academy. I don't think that's gonna hurt it too much. I just checked all the zippers, they work. A little cleanup. And as you see on the screen, it's got some $50, $60 range comps. So I think I'm gonna grab it. sold a hockey helmet, a youth hockey helmet, like a week ago or two, for like 30 bucks. This is a little kids, cost me about three dollars. Actually, I'm gonna pass on the helmet. I think the side clip isn't working properly to lock the face mask down. So I'm not sure what's missing, so I'll leave it. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Morning, good morning. In the Harvard Isle, here's a high school yearbook from 1963. Arch, Archbishop Burley. All of the yearbooks I usually look at the football team, baseball team, basketball team. See if there's any famous athletes that were in it. That's pretty fucking cool. Old GE cassette player. Intact antenna. This needs a little oil. Knobs are all here. Battery compartment is clean. Got the cord inside. Let's look it up and see what it is. Any comps? Anything good? There's 18 listed. Seven sold. Thirty dollars. Three dollars. That's on auction. I don't know why people auction them. $24, 33 30 So it's like a 30, $25 to $30 radio. But I noticed one thing. It's missing the flip-up handle on top so you can carry it. So that's a shame. area cowboy boot kind of small women's let's see if I can find the other one I'll look it up Olakai huh? Olakai sneaker So if you only find one of everything, you know? I know. It's insanity. Alright, I found the other Olakai. Good condition. I'll have to look them up. I never saw sneakers. Still looking for the one cowboy boot. Alright, just looked up these Olakais. The style is called Mio Lee. 58 used, listed. 94 sold. So, that's 
almost double, so almost a 200% sell-through rate. And comps are like $45 to $50. These are in good condition. No wear on the soles. You just need a little cleanup. That's easy. And um, easy pickup. And I still got to find this Ariat boot. All right, since the bag was so bulky, I had to pay for it real quick with the yearbook. So I could put it back out in the car. Because I don't keep a cart on, on the side like a lot of people do. So um, that's done. Cost me five bucks. What I was saying about bags earlier, across, like I sell all categories, and across all categories, um, bags are probably like the highest ASP average sale price across the board. You know, briefcases, backpacks, suitcases, laptop bags. Um, you know, there's a lot of good money in bags. Learn brands, learn quality items to notice, feel, and you know when you touch them and you can find some really good money bags i think that one had like comps of like 50 60 bucks even with the fbi embroidery that might even you know not be a deterrent and make it good so that's a keeper they were just about to bring out a new clothing aisle and a new hard good aisle the first ones in the morning so let's get back in there boom there it is the old five finger vibram i see one what are the odds there's only going to be one let's see those are great sellers, easy $35. All right, I'm looking out with the shoes. Found the other Vibram Five Finger. Those always sell quick, easy money, good condition. Still searching for the boot. Here's a pair of Amazon employee shorts. If I could find a second one, that'd be a good lot. Single one looks like it goes for like 15, 16 bucks. They're very lightweight, plus the dollar. Well, let me see if I find a second. Things like that I love to lot up. You know, make two for 25. Easy sale. It's 63 listed and 99 sold for used. So, I'm going to keep it. Here's a small little find. These are the type of things that people just don't take time and look through. And you see the logo on it. Which is Audi, the car manufacturer. And it's just a torque wrench. So I looked it up, and it's got comps in the 20s. And it's so lightweight, it's practically like poly plastic or whatever they call it. And um, polymer, it's a little metal. So it might cost me 25 cents if that. And if I could sell it for 20 bucks, that's a win. All right, here's an Epcot International Flower and Garden 2014 floppy straw hat with Mickey ears. So whenever I see Disney Epcot stuff, I always look it up. Um, you never know. And here's a comp of, I saw one of these hats sold brand new for $98. So it's extremely light. I'll roll it up, put it in my bag, you know, list it for 50, 60 bucks and see what happens. Haven't been digging heavy through the clothes, but just found this sitting on top over there on another aisle. It's a pair of men's Orvis cargo shorts. Comps around 15 to 20. I see one for 19. I mean, I'll list them for like $17. Take an offer of 14, 15, no problem. But that's a great brand in outdoor fly fishing type apparel and equipment. Put my bag on the scale. Four pounds. I got a pair of Olakai's. Um, I don't even remember what's in the bag. Shorts, hat, a few other things. I'm gonna bring them outside because they're gonna make everybody pay now. And I'll come back in for more. Well, yeah, I forgot I had the five, five fingers. So for $8.43, I got that hat. I got sleeveless hoodie, Nike dry fit, Orvis shorts, or Audi torque wrench, five finger Vibrams, and Olakai shoes. So that's pretty decent right there. For only eight bucks, any one of those will double triple my money before I go back in I'm gonna have a Usa moment and just suck in some vitamin D and just relax for a minute we're getting out a new clothing aisle sitting in front of a sleeping bag I can't see what brand it is it'd be nice if it's a North Face I'll have to wait and see all right just found this woman's leather shoulder handbag with a 
silver chain. It's got an embossed thing of a gun. So it's interesting, so I looked it up. Here's the brand, Bliger and Van Damme. Serious big comps. So I'm gonna keep this one and we'll see what happens. Nice quality leather. It's also embossed with the brand. All right, just jumping in with a little voiceover. This bag brand is something to keep an eye out for. I don't know how many different items they make. Very unique. You can tell the quality of the leather and the chain is high end. And as you see on the screen, this bag sold for $174.75 going to Germany. And it took about three to four weeks to sell. So cost me maybe two to three dollars and it sold for $175. Keep an eye out for Vlegger and Van Dam leather bags. Just found this really cool alarm clock. The brand is Linden, made in Japan. Like kind of like a space age. Some are listed really high, but I see one comp for like 55 bucks. Single condition, we're just laying in the book bin. So I'm gonna grab it, it's really cool. Like this is a simple gift. I was just going by this end aisle cart and this jacket is laying just like this. I have not touched it. Nice zip up, perfect condition fleece. Look what brand it is. Thank you very much. All right, Hargood Isle just came out. I grabbed a bunch of little things I'm gonna look up. There was a bunch of sealed vintage from the 90s playing cards. So I grabbed um, a few that might be interesting. Budweiser, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and Mountain Dew. Sealed new from the 90s. This is a Pottery Barn wall mount bulldog bottle opener. I haven't even opened it yet. I know some Pottery Barn stuff can sell good. A pair of Walker's earmuffs. Probably for the shooting range. I might just keep those. A Panasonic disc MP3 player. And a little Sony Walkman. So let's see if anything is a keeper and has value. All right, the Walker's earmuffs. $30 comps. I'm going to take those. And I'll probably list them. I have headphones for the range. And this Panasonic MP3 player has comps of about 20 bucks, but it's nice and light. So it might cost me a dollar. I'll take that as well. All right, that time it was seven pounds cost me fourteen dollars and change put it in the car and i'm not go i'm not going back in this time all right that's a wrap on this one easily about three hundred dollars worth of stuff i would say typical morning at the goodwill bench thanks for watching and um, i'll see you in the next one